a group of friendly employees will guide you to the cheapest lounge at the Ichion International Airport, which is located outside of Seoul, the capital of South Korea. They are also well-trained and well-behaved, yet they struggle with small chat. They are robots, so that explains it. Since the end of July 2017, robotic airport guides created by Korean electronic giant LG Electronics have coexisted with human workers. They are 1.4 meters tall, move independently along a wheelbase, show an LCD information panel, and use cameras, ultrasonic, laser, and edge sensors for navigation. They can also process words and recognize voices. A growing number of businesses are creating incredibly human-like robots in this age of innovation and technology, work closely with people in the customer service or hospitality industries. The idea of a humanoid robot initially surfaced in many different cultures around the world, including Greece, China, and even Japan in the 4th century. These robots have a lengthy history. Humanoid robot technology is advancing at an increasingly rapid rate as mankind approaches singularity. Even though we're a long way from the altered carbon-inspired future depicted by Netflix, we're still making great advancements in engineering, artificial intelligence, and robotics. So keep an eye out. The top five female humanoid robots for 2022 are presented in this video. Remember to subscribe and enable notifications. Let's get going. Number five, Beyond Mitra. The Indian Space Research Organization was prepared to launch Beyond Mitra, a woman robot in the unmanned Gigayan spacecraft before circling people on India's first manned voyage to space in December 2021. At the opening season of human spaceflight and exploration, present challenges and future trends. The robot was the center of attention. When she presented herself to the audience, Vyama Mitra, a mix of the Sanskrit term Vyama, space, and Mitra, friend, caught everyone off guard. Hello everyone, I am Vyama Mitra, the half-human prototype created for the initial unmanned Gigayan mission, a machine remarked. She remarked as she described her part in the mission. I can do life support procedures, alert you, and monitor through modular parameters. I am capable of operating switch panels, for example. The robot claimed that she could interact with the astronauts as a companion, recognize them, and answer their questions. The half-humanoid would mimic human functions in space and interact with the Environment Control Life Support System, according to the ISRO Chairman K7. There, it will be precisely imitating human functions in space. It will verify if the system is correct. This will be very helpful for simulating flights like a human, added. Number four, Shula. It's time to turn our attention to the first female humanoid robot created in India. So move over, Sophia. Danish Patel, a computer science instructor at IIT Bombay and a native of the little town of Ramajampur, Ardhapurash, invented the robot Shula. Shula, an Indian humanoid robot, is able to communicate in 47 languages, including 38 other languages and nine Indian languages. Let's investigate all of Robot Shula's intelligent features, which have helped India become a world leader in robotics. Dinesh's determination to work hard and put forth the effort to create a humanoid robot using entirely discarded waste material, including plastic, wood, cardboard, aluminum components, and many more, paid off after several years. Sophia Robot has been surpassed by Robot Shula in terms of capabilities and skill. Dinesh made sure that Shula could meet regular people from different regions of India and foreign nations and engage in natural conversations. Girls and women are the focus of the world's first female humanoid robot. This Indian humanoid robot may compete in capabilities with those robots that are made with high-tech and inventive laboratories around the world. As demonstrated by the computer science teacher who demonstrated to the world, it is possible to build things with local materials. Shula is renowned throughout the world as the first social and educational Indian humanoid robot who is proficient in speaking 47 languages. The computer science curriculum for Kendria's sixth grade covers the capabilities of this first female humanoid robot. Dinesh was inspired by the Skill India Mission and the Digital India Mission, three of India's visionary initiatives. Artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms enable the robot Shula to respond in any language present in the learned dataset. Face recognition technology allows the robot to recognize faces and recall people it has met. Shula can recognize various items in any setting with the aid of object recognition technology. The Indian humanoid robot is capable of giving accurate answers to all kinds of academic inquiries in the fields of physics, chemistry, 
mathematics, English, geography, and many other areas. While working through various problems, she can strike up a pleasant discussion with others. Robot Schuler's hands can move about and exhibit a variety of human behaviors and gestures, including a handshake, making fun, and expressing various human emotions such as happiness, sadness, and irritability. The first female humanoid robot can provide people to weather report for the next 10 days at various locations, so they don't need to rely on media for weather forecast news. Schuler will be available to provide predictions based on the date of birth for everyone who wants to learn about the daily horoscope. Number three, Kota Motoroid TV presenter. This girl-woman hybrid, which takes its name from the Japanese word for child, Komodo, was developed in Japan and is capable of carrying out a number of straightforward duties, including reading the news and describing scientific concepts. Motors in her body cause her face to move realistically when she speaks, and she can speak in a variety of voices and languages, including a male one. You can ask her to offer you directions or read the weather when you visit the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation in Tokyo, where she currently works. She has a lot more than just automated gear because she can spontaneously engage with people and has remarkably lifelike features. She and her adult counterpart, Entrenoid, the word adult in Japanese, are examples of how far technology and robotic research has come. Every aspect of the android is capable of intricate human motions and facial inflections, as well as moving and interacting with others as realistically as possible. Thanks to the combination of complicated hardware and programming services as muscles. To project the sense of human presence, the Android integrates ubiquitous sensor systems with a teleoperation system. Of course, errors are going to happen. When asked to identify herself at the opening of the show, the lips and voice were out of sync, so she remained silent. But we can count on the Japanese creators to keep actively working on it. Number two, Geminoid F. The female android named Geminoid F, the latest invention of a Japanese robotist, was recently unveiled. The new android can grin, frown, and alter facial expressions more naturally than earlier androids since it is a replica of a woman in her 30s with long, dark hair. Ishigoro, an Osaka University professor, is renowned for building the Geminoid HI-1, a telepresence android that he can manage from a distance. The brand new Geminoid F, or F for female, is likewise made to be remotely operated by a person. Ishigoro demonstrated how the android could mimic the woman's facial expressions when she was seated in front of a computer equipped with cameras and face tracking software during a news presentation in Osaka with assistance from Kokoro Corporations, a Japanese company that specializes in animatronics and ultra-realistic androids. Ishigoro created the android as part of his work at Osaka University in ATR Intelligent Robotics and Communication Laboratories. Ishigoro's team and Kokoro engineers set out to design Geminoid F in order to produce an android that could display a variety of realistic expressions without requiring as many actuaries as previous androids they had produced. They really wanted the robot to have a real smile, not just any smile, but one with a toothy smile, as Kokori described it, and has the ability to frown. Number one, Aresia. It can be rather overwhelming for both locals and visitors to navigate Tokyo's subway system. A large ball of knotted yawn is how the map seems to many visitors. Officials in Tokyo are experimenting with a new amenable robot to assist users in navigating the subway system. At the Ueno station on the Odeo line, a six-foot-tall robot by the name of Aresia is in service. Aresia offers directions, the locations of the closest restrooms, and information about the neighborhood straight out of an anime manga. Riders may get much information on the interactive screen that is part of the robot. Ariza will give tours advice on how to behave in the subway and local sites. Japanese, English, Korean, and Chinese are among the four languages the humanoid robot can speak. If you ask gently, Ariza will even take pictures for you. The robot, which has experience working as a casino host and a receptionist, was developed by THK, and Aruzu Gaiman. In addition to Aresia, robots will also be present in five additional Tokyo stations to assist travelers. This is done in part to tackle Japan's serious labor shortage and enhance service. If everything goes according to plan, robots like Aresia will eventually become a permanent feature in Tokyo's subway system and assist in guiding tourists during the 2020 Olympics. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.